What up, man? So, uh, here we go. Tyga, new mixtape. Fuck what they talking about. Now, I don't even want to go ahead and say it was bad, because it honestly wasn't. It wasn't really nothing bad. It wasn't really nothing too special. But, I mean, typical Tyga. You know, I don't think he ever going to get back that buzz he had with his mixtapes from um, the early 2000s. Or oh, fuck it, might as well just say Black Dog, Black Dog 2, well done, well done too. And uh, Bitch, I'm the shit. To me, those are his best mixtapes. But I don't think he gonna get back to those days. So he released the project with 15 records on it. And of course, the one song everybody's talking about, Stimulated. Ooh, who give a fuck? How did y'all not see that coming? You know what I mean? Busting Out the Bag was cool. You know, he kind of went in on that track. It took me like five times to listen to it to be like, all right, it's not that bad. I don't like the visual though. And what's good with his fucking, um, his voice is getting raspier and deeper. It damn near don't even sound like itself. And then you got Glitter, you know what I mean? He spoke on a record deal. Kylie, of course, Money, etc. The beat was cool though, you know what I mean? Master Sweep, based on a song about material shit. It was all right. Turbans, that shit was boring. I'm sorry. And he talked that gangster shit. Come on, Tiger, knock that shit off, bro. Then you got Death Row Chain. I'm guessing it's a metaphor. It goes right into the Tupac interview clip, which was dope. You know what I mean? I ain't had no problem with that. Rap star, uh, he talked about the critics, his lifestyle. You know what I mean? Nothing too special, but just the average day of a, a fucking rap star, I guess. The interlude, brokenbitter.com. Why put it on the tape? We already know that, Tiger. Stimulated, the track that everybody seemed to be going crazy over. Yeah, he talked about basically fucking Kylie. Sidebar real quick. Now, Cy Ari the Kid has put out a mixtape, and he got a track called Kylie, I'm on the way. From this day forward, if any rapper picked Kylie in their music, y'all niggas is weird, because that means y'all was looking at her before she was legal. You dig? Rather she's cute or she's not, but I'm just saying. Don't be all on Tiger and hating on him when he dating her, fine. But you got niggas now saying, oh, she's legal, she's hot, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you've been looking at her, nigga. Anyway, moving on to Ice Cream Man. Of course, to me, it sounds like it's about Kylie. I could be wrong, but the beat was cool. Um, but stimulated, like I said, it was just him talking about fucking her or whatever. Who cares? Super Wifey. Um, this was actually the first song that I heard from this project. It was cool. I'm not even going to say it was whack. I, it was cool, you know, for what it was. You know what I mean? But, of course, we know who he's talking about. Um, Don't See Me Coming. Mm, the belly skits was the best part of that. Clarity. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but I think he dissing Drake. Just the way he, he rapped with his, his vocals and everything, his his tone pitch and everything. But it's not a bad song. Uh, Voice from The Heaven Part 2. Michael Jackson, if you listen to the clip, how they talked about him, similar, he goes into the next track with Scandal, and it's basically he broke down everything that they said in the media about him. The sample was cool, but I mean, I thought that that was pretty, you know, different. I think he should have put the, um, the death row chain after the voicemail from Pop, but I get how he did it. But overall, this shit was cool. I mean, 11 of the songs, you know, not hating, not being biased. Uh, they was cool. You could listen to them, you know what I mean? It's at least a six and a half out of 10. You know what I mean? The beats was fair. Same thing, six and a half out of 10. Fuck what they talking about. Tiger, you know what I mean? If we can all get past the whole Kylie shit and dive back into the music, I think you will see that you still appreciate Tiger. I've seen a lot of comments and people still fuck with his music and everything. They don't really care about the personal shit. I think if people separate the personal lives from the artists, it is still show you actually like the artists. I'm just saying. But that's just my review. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. I'm out.